Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of IGTV with, of course, Steve Holbrook. I'm super excited to bring you today's episode. I have been thinking long and hard about this. And again, it's one of those topics that I get a lot of direct messages about and a lot of people asking me both in our business and outside of our business. Today, I want to talk about attitude. Attitude is everything. And we've heard it before. It's so cliche, but I want to talk about it again. I want to get a little bit deep on this concept. Attitude is everything. I remember when I was a young boy, I can't remember exactly what age, but I remember my dad coming into my room and handing me a piece of paper. And on this paper, it was a pre-printed printed words on this paper. The top, it said attitude. And then below it, it said this. It said, attitude is an inner concept. It is the most important thing that you can develop in your lifetime. Looking back on that statement, I can't think of a truer statement ever said. Attitude is so important. And I'm not sure if it was just that piece of paper that got me on my journey of improving my attitude. Probably not. But I do remember that. I mean, if you think about it, when you have a good attitude, everything seems to open up. It it creates space. It creates space in your life to be vulnerable with people, which is an important part of of living. It It creates space for new opportunities or stronger relationships with people or having a healthier mindset. And when you have a healthier mindset, you are less prone to feeling depressed and feeling down. Then there's so many more reasons to have a positive attitude, but when you have a bad attitude, it basically attracts negativity. And that whole law of attraction thing that's been going on, the buzzword law of attraction, hey, guess what? It also works when you have a bad attitude. You start to attract more of the things that you don't want but you continuously attract them and sometimes you're not sure why. It's probably because of your attitude. So in the dictionary, it says, attitude is a settled way of thinking or feeling about someone or something, typically one that is reflected in a person's behavior. Reflected in a person's behavior. It's so true. You can tell somebody's behavior stems from a good attitude or a bad attitude. And we throw that word around. That person's got a bad attitude or, hey, they have a really great attitude. But let's talk, let's talk about some things that we can do to help develop that attitude because you 100% can develop that attitude. And I have five things, but the five most important things that I think you could do today to start to improve that attitude. Whether you feel like you have an eight out of a 10 attitude or a one out of 10 attitude, I think we can all agree that all of us, including myself, can continue to develop a world-class attitude because it's one of the most important things that we can actually do in our lifetime. So I got five things, so grab your pen. Number one, practice gratitude every day. Practicing gratitude every day will start helping you develop a positive attitude. We throw the word gratitude around all the time, but there's different ways to actually practice gratitude. One example could be through prayer. If you're somebody that prioritizes prayer on a daily basis, um, you can absolutely practice gratitude through prayer. It's one of the most powerful exercises that you can do. Another way of doing it is through gratitude journal. You can go to your local store. You can buy one online. There's different formats. There's different exercises that you can do. Um, If you just want to buy a journal, you could wake up in the morning and first thought through your mind is you start writing down all all the things you're grateful for. Uh, You can also have reminders around your house, you know, on your on your bathroom door, in your truck, um, you know, on your mirror when you brush your teeth as constant reminders throughout the day on the things that you're grateful for. So why is this important? Because practicing gratitude, it, it almost brings you back to center. I find throughout the day, there's so many things get th- that thrown at us. I mean, work, stresses, relationship, kids, health, you know, and then just the day-to-day negative thoughts that we're fighting off. Sometimes we get so far from center that by practicing gratitude, either through meditation, prayer, or, or other exercises that I talked about, it can actually bring you back to center. And again, it just opens you up to receive all the great things that are about to happen to you in that day. The second thing, the second way to make sure we maintain a positive attitude, don't use ultimatums. Don't use ultimatums. Don't back yourself into a corner because when you use an ultimatum, now you have to decide. You know, people say, oh, if if it happens one more time to me, that's it, I'm done. One more thing, that's it, I'm done. 
Well, now you have to decide when that one thing happens to you again, are you going to do what you said you're going to do and quit and give up? Or are you going to fight through it? And if you decide to fight through it, now you're not congruent anymore with what you said you're going to do. Don't use ultimatums. It doesn't allow a lot of space for you to take personal responsibility for your life. And the way I want to look at it is I want to look at it like this. Every challenge in my life is an opportunity to grow and an opportunity to learn every challenge. And if I use ultimatums, I don't allow myself that opportunity. Because if you're always acting out of emotion, if you're always reacting, it's going to cloud your judgment and you're going to make some bad decisions, bad decisions that are going to lead to some things in your life that you don't want. And remember this, it's important that we give people space to make mistakes because it's the only way they can learn. And it's the only way that they can grow. I'm the kind of guy that always forgives people. I'll keep giving people the opportunity to learn and grow. I'm not going to be naive to the situation, but I do want to give people a shot. I am a believer in people and I do want to create that space and not give ultimatums so that they can learn and they can grow and that, you know, ultimately we can both grow together. That would be the best possible scenario. The third thing, third thing to maintain a positive attitude or develop a positive attitude is smile. Smile. It's contagious. Find a reason to smile. That would be ideal. Find a reason to smile. But even if you don't, smile anyway because it is contagious and you do start to attract different kinds of people to your day, different kinds of people to your week, and different kinds of people to your life. Think of it this way. A, a smile in passing to somebody, even a stranger, a smile typically fills somebody's bucket, their emotional bucket, even if it's just a little bit. You don't know what people have going on, but I will tell you this, there's a lot of stress out there and there's a lot of people that lack belief both in themselves and the direction of where their life is headed. Just a small encounter with a little smile has the ability to fill somebody's emotional bucket just a little bit. And if you start practicing this and you go around throughout the day and you start filling people's emotional bucket, what's going to start to happen is that you're going to start to feel better about yourself. You're going to start to gain some momentum into your life and your attitude's going to start to change. You might not even really be aware of why it's changing or why things are why things are moving in a positive direction, but sometimes it can be tied back to you just learning to smile or you being more aware of how powerful a smile can be in somebody's life. The fourth, the fourth point to maintaining or developing a positive attitude. Use setbacks to improve your mental toughness. Use setbacks to improve your mental toughness. When I read that line, really what that means to me is that now you're anticipating setbacks. You're expecting them to happen because setbacks do happen, but you're gonna use them to learn and grow and develop that world-class mental toughness. Imagine a mindset. Imagine if you could get your mindset to a point where every time that you had a challenge in your life, you were able to reframe that challenge, reframe it as a learning opportunity. How would that start to change? How would that start to change the six inches between your ears? One of the best books ever written of all time was the 177 Mental Toughness Secrets of the World Class written by Steve Siebel, a great man. He's, be, he's becoming a friend of mine and, and to so many in our company. Such a great book. It's helped me really become more aware and it's helped me become more conscious of how I'm thinking and it's helping me develop that mental toughness. Remember, it's only through our setbacks that we can have comebacks. So we need the dips, we need the valleys so that we can climb from peak to peak and training your mind, training your mind on how to see those setbacks as comeback opportunities is so important through good books and of course, great associations. And I want you to practice that and try some of these techniques and you watch the momentum start to change. Number five, my last point, don't take yourself so seriously. If you wanna be happier, develop the ability to laugh at yourself. Now, I'm not talking about laughing at yourself in a self-deprecating way where you're always throwing yourself under the bus, at, you know, you're, you're making jokes at, at your own expense. I'm just talking about not taking yourself so seriously and allowing a little bit of comic relief to help you get through that. What it does is not only does it help keep you loose, 
but it actually helps the people around you feel more comfortable around you uh, when you are like that. Look, we're all playing the game of life. We're all playing the game of life. And one day, that game is going to be up. Our time is going to be up. All of us. That time is coming. Don't tie your happiness to a destination. Don't tie your, your happiness to an amount of money. Or in five years, I'll be so happy because we'll have that house. Or we'll have that relationship. Or we'll be debt free. Tie your happiness to progress and tie your happiness to the journey. And having the ability to laugh at yourself, it, it, what it does is it really allows you to live more presently, live in the moment, and really cherish the progress that's happening in your life. And there's progress that's happening all around you if you have the ability to see it. In closing, there's probably another 20 plus points I could have made around attitude, how to develop it, how to maintain it. I think I'm gonna have to do a follow-up video in a few weeks to talk more about it because I, I would like to get a little bit deeper on it. But just remember one thing, a great attitude is everything. And yes, it can be developed and it can be changed if you are willing to put in the work. I wanna challenge everybody watching this, try it try it. Work on your attitude. Just do it for the next 30 days and see how your world and your perspective starts to change. So I appreciate you guys. If you'd like more information, please go to my website, sholbrick.com. I have dozens of great articles and information. Of course, IGTV, I post all these videos on there. I also have a YouTube channel, but I find that most people are finding me through Instagram, which has been great. Please leave a comment, share it with your friends. Um, if you see value, utilize it. Again, a lot of the questions that I'm getting asked, I'm developing these episodes about and I'm posting them. So make sure you're watching all these episodes and taking notes. And I really do think that that it will put you on a better path towards a better life. And again, I'm not perfect. I'm the farthest thing from it. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just a man that's in pursuit of betterment in all areas of his life. And I got a lot of work to do in all the areas. So I want to share that journey with you. And that's what this is all about. Me sharing my journey and sharing my progress of where I was 14 years ago where I am today, and of course, where we're going, which is super exciting. So I appreciate you guys for logging on. I love you guys, and we'll see you soon.